Our number one priority is economic stability and restoring confidence that the United Kingdom is a country that pays its way. And for that reason, the medium term fiscal plan is extremely important. And I want to confirm that it will demonstrate debt falling uh, over the medium term, which is very important for people to understand. Uh, but it's also extremely important that that statement is based on the most accurate possible economic forecasts and forecasts of public finances. And for that reason, the Prime Minister and I have decided that it is prudent to make that statement on the 17th of November, when it will be upgraded to a full autumn statement. And I've discussed this uh, last night with the Governor of the Bank of England. He understands the reasons for doing that, and I'll continue to work very closely with him. It's only 10 days since the Governor of the Bank of England said that having the government's plans first and then the interest rate decision on the 3rd of November was the correct order of events. By moving this until after the interest rate decision, aren't you just risking uh, more uncertainty, more chaos, more market turbulence? Well, there has been a lot of market turbulence, even in the last 48 hours. And uh, the question is how you deal with that turbulence to make sure that the very, very important and very difficult decisions that I and the Prime Minister have to make are the right ones, decisions that stand the test of time and do the right thing for people at home who are worried about their mortgages, their jobs, uh, the cost of living, the bills and so on. And for that reason, accuracy in the forecasts both around public finances and economic growth is very important. And that's why this is the right decision and a prudent decision. You were already getting forecasts from the OBR. People look at this delay and think, hang on, this is because either the Prime Minister wants to check your homework or because the new Secretaries of State are, are kicking back against the spending cuts you want for them. What, what is the problem here? And is it, is it to do with the new Cabinet not wanting to go along with your plans? Well, the OBR also want to make sure that their forecasts are the most accurate possible. And there have been a lot of changes, you know, even in the last 48 hours. And this is my recommendation to the Prime Minister as the best way to ensure that the decisions that we take, these very, very difficult decisions, are ones that stand the test of time and give us the best chance of giving people security over their mortgages, over their jobs, uh, over the cost of living concerns that everyone has. This statement has moved backwards and forwards like someone learning how to park a car. Do you feel any twinge of embarrassment that your party has led to this having to shift about like this? Well, I think I have demonstrated in the short time that I've been Chancellor that I'm willing to take decisions very quickly and I'm willing to make choices that are politically embarrassing if they're the right thing to do for the country, if they're in the national interest. Um, now we have a new Prime Minister and the prospect of much longer term stability for the economy in the country. And in that context, a short two and a half week delay is the best way we will make sure that it is the right decisions we take. And very briefly, uh, it's reported today that one of the reasons the Home Secretary was sacked last week cause, was because she'd shared OBR sensitive information. Are you happy that Suella Braverman is back as Home Secretary and would you trust her with sensitive information? Well, she apologised for her mistakes. She has been fully accountable for those mistakes. She stepped down as Home Secretary. But from the point of view of people at home who want stability in the economy, they also need to see a united Conservative Party, and that's why the Prime Minister has put together a cabinet of all the talents.